Hey, what's going on? This is Deluxe Dave coming at you with this episode of Deluxe Dave Edition. I was making sure I came at you with another episode today because I got the time and I had so much more to talk about today. Um, make sure you check out the episode that I did right before this about Tyler Perry. It's a very, very deep episode. Make sure y'all are checking it out. Make sure you're telling people to subscribe to the Deluxe Dave Edition. But here's what I wanted to talk about today. First of all, I want you to take a look at this cover. So, that was Leona Lewis, her cover of her album, which is going to be called Echo. It's supposed to come out on November 17th. She already has a single out called Happy. So, I wanted to make sure you looked at this because it kind of reminded me of something. Tell me what you think it reminds you of. You just look at it, glance at it, take a peek at it, tell me what you think about it. Hmm. Anyways, also talking about covers, Serena Williams will also, uh, there's like a multiple cover thing going on with ESPN on the body issue of ESPN. So Serena is nude. She is posed nude for the ESPN cover of um, the body issue, which is coming out October 9th on Friday. Also, Dwight Howard is uh, supposed to be in that, and also Adrian Peterson also uh, was another one. And there's two other people which could be on the multiple covers that they're going to be releasing. So, uh Serena's doing her thing, you know. I think ever since she got with Common, you guys, haven't you realized that she's been a little bit more out? She's always been outgoing. She's always been the more outgoing sister. But it seems like she's doing a lot more now that she has. she's with Common. So, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, yeah. Uh, also, I wanted to talk about J-Lo. J-Lo uh, is coming out with her seventh album. And it's supposed to be called Who is Lola? That is the anticipated title of her seventh album. And Lola is... J-Lo, or Jennifer Lopez's alter ego, you guys. Yes. Jennifer Lopez now has an alter ego named Lola, which I guess she's always had, which makes the list. Jen Jackson, Madonna, Sierra. Who else? Tyrese, uh, T.I. We have so many different people in the industry now that have alter egos. So it's nothing brand new, but hey... Do your thing, J-Lo. We're looking forward to hearing the songs from you. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Speaking of alter egos, Beyonce will be gracing our presence um, with her, uh, with a CD that she's supposed to be coming out with called I Am Yours on either November 25th or 26th. Now, I went to Japan for this information. Didn't go to Japan, but I went to the information from Japan because they usually get the news about music and different stuff a little bit before us. So they also said that she is coming out with a two-DVD documentary that is going to be called Beyond the Ballad, which should be released at the very end of November. It's going to have over 35, get this, 35 songs from Beyonce, two DVDs. It's going to have songs that she's done on Carmen, the hip hopper, which was one of the first things that she ever like did on TV. It's going to have songs that she has, that she did on Gold Member. It's going to have songs she did on, on Dangerously in Love, on B-Day, on Sasha Fierce, everything, Dream Girls, everything. Her whole, like, basically career. So this is a big, big thing. I'm really looking forward to seeing this documentary, which is coming out. Um, also, the CD at the end of November. So Japan's supposed to get it first. Of course, they always do. And we should be getting it just a tad bit after them. But... I'm really, really looking forward to that. Beyonce, do ya? Dang, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. But I was talking about movies and stuff like that. I wanted to talk about Jamie Foxx's movie. His movie is called A Law Abiding Citizen. I said I wasn't going to go to see a movie till November when Precious comes out and then the movie 2012 comes out a week after that. This mass suicide appeared to the Mayan calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of this year. This year. This year. What are the odds? <laughs>
that movie looks good, you guys. 2012, I'm going to see that. Also, Precious, two great November movies. Um, but Jamie Foxx's movie, Law Abiding Citizen, looks really good. And also a movie called The Stepfather, which looks like a real big thriller. It looks like a, maybe I might go wait till that comes to DVD or whatever. But it looks like a really great movie. So we'll see. Those two movies look really, really great. So looking forward to that. Last but not least, before I talk about the last thing I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about two shows which you need to be watching on Lifetime. I talked about about two episodes ago about fall shows that you should be watching, and I left out two. One is called Sherry. It's uh, Right now it's on a sneak peek on Lifetime right now. It's coming on at 7 and 7.30. Also, Rita Rocks comes on at 7.30, I believe. Yes, yeah, Sherry at 7, Rita Rocks at 7.30. Two great shows. I love them both. I actually got into Rita Rocks, the second season of Rita Rocks. First season of Sherry, really good shows. Make sure you're checking them out on Lifetime. Watch them. Sneak peek this week, and I believe they're going to come on every Tuesday on Lifetime after the sneak peek week that they're having on Lifetime. So make sure you're checking those shows out also. And last but not least, Monique. The Monique Show. Yes! Yes! That's all I'm hearing, Monique. Every single day I'm hearing that. And, you know, your show, the first one was good. You know, Steve Harvey came on, Monica, y'all had Jeremiah. Excellent first show. Man, the show. Yo, Monique, I'm giving it all I can. No, I'm going to watch it again tonight on Wednesday. Yesterday's show, Tragic. Lil Fizz, Bug from B2K, and Tiny and Toya, and... Oh, no, 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 no. Monique, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to watch it some more this week, but it might come off my DVR because I just, I'm just not getting with it. So I'm going to watch it again this whole week. I always give people chances. I always give shows chances. So I'm giving her this whole week so she can prove herself. But I'm giving you the week, Monique, and we'll see. Hold on, hold on, I rhyme. I'm giving you the week, Monique. Um, to, to prove yourself to me. So make sure y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Peace out. Come follow me, come follow me. That's why I had to say. Come follow me, come follow me. That's why I had to say.